In this video, we will walk you through the skeleton code provided and the fields that have to be completed to get our car moving parallel in the corridor. First, let's see the implementation details for the node which determines the distance of the car from the wall. Download the week 2 workspace and open the template dist-finder.py in the source folder of the race package. Here, you need to complete two functions, get range and callback. This node subscribes to the LIDAR scan data of type laser scan and publishes to the PID error of custom data type called PID underscore input. The laser scan is a standard sensor message data type with various fields. The field ranges, which is an array consisting of the distances in meters, with the first element being the distance at angle min and the last element being the distance at angle max and the intermediate values at increments of angle increment. The PID input message consists of two data elements. First, the PID error or the error that needs to be compensated by the PID and PID underscore velocity, which is the velocity the car should move at. The callback is the function that is called when a new message arrives on the laser topic. Let's fill this up first. The first step is to get two rays on the right side of the car and to determine the distance of the car from the right wall and also the orientation with respect to it. We pick two rays at 0 degrees and theta degrees from the lidar scans. Complete the get range function that determines the distance of the wall at an angle theta. The various elements of the scan data can be accessed like a structure using the dot operator. Using the equations provided in the tutorial, implement the callback functions in the space provided. Keep the speed of the car constant for now. Check the error by physically moving the car close to and away from the wall and at different orientations. Next, let's implement the PID node named control.py. It is also present in the same source folder. This node takes the error message of type PID underscore input published by the distance finder and publishes the try parameters of custom message type drive underscore param. The drive underscore param message consists of two fields, angle specifying the steering angle between minus 100 to plus 100 and a velocity specifying the throttle between minus 100 to plus 100. Minus 100 corresponds to the extreme left and plus 100 corresponds to the extreme right. The main function at startup requests for KP, KD and the velocity values. This makes it easier to tune the PID. Control is the callback function that needs to be filled up with the PID equations. The variable servo underscore offset is used to trim the steering of the car to the center position if there is any mechanical misalignment. Follow these three steps to implement the PID equations. First, amplify the error by some suitable value. Then, apply the PID equation to determine the correction value to the servo. Be sure to also consider the servo offset. Finally, do a check to see if the steering angle is within the bounds of minus 100 to plus 100. Now, you must be able to run the car by executing the following nodes. Run raw score. Then, a node to obtain the laser data. A node to communicate with the TNC a node to map the values to PWM, the PID node, and finally the node to process the sensor data. I would encourage you to write a launch file to ease this process. Refer to the accompanying PDF for more information on launch files.